Hello. I'm good. How are you? I'm quite well. Thanks for asking. What are you wearing? Who? Oh, I'm wearing Erdem, one of my, a friend of mine actually, a, a, a British designer. Stunning. Erdem. Thank Stunning. you. Thank you. Well, can we see the back and the shoes? The back? Yes, please. I don't know if the. Uh, yeah, do that. Do the model turn. Oh, yeah. Stunning. Perfect. Thank you. Well, that was smooth. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't fall over. Oh, that's funny to me. This movie to me is a combination of um, Basic Instinct, uh, Fatal Attraction, Pride and Prejudice, sort of all wrapped in one. Pride and Prejudice, is it? One tell me about that. Nutshell, because we we address well, we address uh, those kinds of emotions in a modern format. I mean, but she's I, yeah, nuts. There's a Fatal Attraction thing. To me, there's that Basic Instinct where we don't know who's, Where's pride who's is the pride killer. And prejudice? I, well, I think. Well, okay, that's my version. <laughs> yes, that, that's my version. Well, you were in Pride and Prejudice, yeah. yes. Yeah. Um, I suppose it's because you're in this movie. Uh, okay. I saw Pride and Prejudice in there somewhere, somehow. Just the more modern American version of it. Like a love story. Okay, well, well I suppose... A love story, a very strained, a very stressful love story. Well, I mean, it's certainly sort of how to look for a mate, and it's it's a it's a look at marriage and dating in a world where how can you be sure you trust your mate? Because everybody now is a performer, and of course, as an actress, that's a very interesting idea to tackle. The fact that even in the dating scene, you know, is the person we meet the person their authentic self or not, or or is everybody trying to be a version of themselves that they know will appeal to the person they're trying to attract? which is ultimately quite fun, but also rather dishonest. Yes. <laughs> so, uh, and and that's, of course, that. what Amy does until the moment she decides not to or until the guy lets her down, you know, lets down her expectations. I mean, it, it's, it's not a very good recipe for true love because ultimately, you know, as every actor knows, you can't keep up the performance forever. <laughs> so I know. think in Pride and Prejudice, I saw that same sort of uh, dating stress, you know, where they were really not allowed to... No, and of course, and of course, scene. Lizzie Bennet, you know, set the bar very uh, apart by 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 actually wanting to meet a man with whom she had a meeting of minds, a sort of intellectual match. I mean, that was very modern for that time. Very, very. not just a convenient, approved of marriage by one's parents. You know, that's why I thought they sort of in a mixture <laughs> in a blender. If you put them all together, you'd wind up with Gone Girl. <laughs> well, I'm not. I'm not sure I'm going to go with you on that one, but. <laughs> But if you saw that, my yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I know your parents sing opera. Yes, they do. Did you have do. opera training? No, I didn't. No, I, I never had the kind of urge to be a singer. I think if you're going to be a singer, it has to be sort of in your core. You have to just need to sing. And that's not the way I needed to communicate. I needed to communicate with words and by 